Hey, Master Study, it's Lulu, and something is going on with my laptop. We ain't gonna question it, we just gonna keep it rocking. So we are recording with our phone. Yay. So um, I believe this will be your October, your first exclusive for October, since I think I dropped two exclusives for September, right? But to get ahead of the curve, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one for October. What do you have for the master study? Give me three cards, please. Thank you. My feet tingling. One, two, three. All right. So we're going to do uh, three separate um, cards, but they may all run right into each other, but we'll do three separate situations. So the first one is trust. The next one is balanced friendships, right? And the third one is your wishes are coming true. So let's just go into this first card. The first card is trust. And it says, <clears throat> you can trust the people around you. They are earth angels sent to give you guidance, the guidance you seek. Um, maybe some of you are in a situation where you're unsure Here's the thing about trusting um, new people or trusting the people around you. You want to trust that you are following your best guidance, right? I was thinking about that earlier, too. So you want to make sure that you uh, follow your best guidance. Use your discernment when dealing with people. Try not to um, over um, indulge in conversations. If you don't know the person or haven't been knowing them very long, may be important. What is this trust? And this is the card, a pink carnation. See, seven of swords, ten of staffs. Some of you may feel oppressed or um, feeling as though you need some help, but you've been betrayed and lied to in the past, so you're unsure of how you can go about trusting someone new or if this person is trustworthy based on um, the things that maybe you have heard or um, even the things that are being fed to you possibly by your ego. Who knows, right? So you want to weigh, um, weigh in on it here and make sure that you're not self-deceiving so let's clarify this seven of swords clarify this seven of swords please you're used to doing things on your own and you've come a long way by doing things on your own right um making things happen in a way that you know you haven't had to ask for help but now you're in this space where you know you're at the end of a journey ready to uh, move forward into something new create something new um step into a new role or identity here and you don't know if you can trust someone with some of the things that you've been through right you don't know if you can trust uh someone with that here because you've accomplished so much on your own right you've accomplished so much on your own this may be a virgo maybe this is someone that you are trying to find out if you can truly trust this person or like i said you may have done a lot on your own so far Clarify this nine of coin and with a nine of staffs, right? So this may be um, you not really wanting to trust someone who, if it's a relationship, you are unsure or fearful that um, of losing your independence, right? Um, you may have been hurt in the past, or there may have been someone who has been obsessed to you, to, obsessed with you to the point where you don't know. Um, if you want to be in a relationship or if you want to be single, but overall There may be people there may be someone who is stepping in who is well versed in something that you have going on and how um, There may be a process that will take you to that ten of pinnacles and it may involve teamwork Right bring in some type of balance here, but they want you to make sure that you don't forget what it is that you've gone through so that you can have some type of protection from that helps with the the fight or flight right the fight or flight part of the ego that we need right being careful with that so some of you are being very particular yeah because you want you know that the choice that you are going to make or whatever choice is about to be made um this is going to uh, be something that has a long-term effect right but overall 
I feel as though there may even be that, it may even be that there are people that are around you or someone that is around you that has been brought in to help you and that you may not be able to see it because of the things that you've gone through, the things that you have witnessed here. But if you've been uh, praying or hoping or wishing or just putting your intention toward finding and surrounding yourself with better people, I feel like the, the call has been heard, okay? Clarify this judgment card. They're doing construction outside. I wasn't going to do this video, but I'm like, I need to do at least this video, okay? Because I need to do some uh, videos for the channel as well. Yeah, this may have something to do with the love interest. Interest. And they may come in um, in a space where you really do need the help, right? But again, you've been through a lot and you may be letting things from the past dictate your future. So you want to be careful. Right? Well, you may be basing your judgments on the past, right? So you want to be careful with that. So let's see here. What is the advice for card number one? I briefly acknowledge what has been lost, but linger in celebration of what has been gained. Gratitude is where I am. You're giving a single, you're not giving a single solitary fuck about the past, right? So the best advice is to acknowledge the things that have happened in the past, but know that um, you are no longer in that space. You are no longer attracting that type of person or situation. And the, the call has been heard. The call has been made. So people will be showing up who are meant to be in your life for quite some time. These may be people that you will be able to, um, or a person right? It's either people or a person, but I feel like it's a person. This is someone who is um, going, is built to last. This is someone who um, you will be working closely with as well. So you want to be mindful of that. And I feel like this person will also still, because of what it is that you will express to them, they will allow you to still um, do things individually, which is uh, very important for you here. I also feel that you've taken your time or you have been taking your time in communicating with this person or making plans or making things happen in a space where you are finally where you want to be when it comes to allowing someone in, right? And you're willing to take that chance overall. But the burdens of the past are about to be completely over with. You you should be feeling yourself released, be released of a lot of residual energies, right? When it comes to this 10 going into a one, you're at the end of a cycle. Um, and it's kind of fearful. You may be fearful of things fully fully letting go. There may be parts of you that still are holding on to the past, but it's time to let that burden go, that oppression go. And know that you are whole, separate, and unique in your own right. All the lies and betrayal, all the, the, the um, I don't know why I want to say dictation or diction or something like that. But all the things that have been said in the past blows by like um, a breeze in the wind when it comes to how things are about to move. I really feel like you're going to you're going to know in your body. Everything is going to align your, your mind, your body and your uh, spirit is just going to know that this is right. OK. The next card is balanced friendships. Right. And it says uh, it's a African daisy. And it says your friendships work work best when there's an equal share of giving and receiving. Your friendships work best when there is, oh, well, we are in the Libra Rich. Oh, did y'all look it up? We're in a Mercury. Uh, Mercury is retrograding in Libra, and it's really um, providing a space where we're looking at um, our friendships, our relationships, and things like that, right? Some old things may come up that challenge our beliefs and how we believe now. So just look it up, okay? Because if I start going into it, I may say something that, that's not all the way right. I'm still learning astrology, okay? By learning it and how it works with me first, right? All right. But I think that the Astro Energy Update, that beautiful best life, uh, did for us today. I really feel like um, it should be some information in there about it, okay? But if I find some things, I'll post them. All right. So it says your friendships work best when there's an equal share of giving and receiving. As empaths, you know that we really do. It's important for us to at least be around people who really want to uh, do the, the, the give and take, right? Because as empaths, as nurturers, as um, those who like to help, 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 a lot of times if we are not in control of how we are doing things and what it is that we are allowing around us, 
people can take advantage. So you may even be in a space where you have a lot on your plate here, um, not knowing which way to go or, or how to go when it comes to options that are available to you or people pulling you in different directions and you're trying to figure out which direction to go, how to move forward. Um, if this is getting the better of you, right? Because with that seven of cups, it could be um, a, illusion or under the illusion that they're um, that you're not doing enough. You may be under the illusion of um, uh, having to do things in the old, a different the, the way that you used to. But this is a cycle that's coming to an end, though. This is something that when it comes to how you manage uh, your emotions, how you manage your friends and family, how you manage in that in those realms, how you manage you. In those realms, right? In those situations. What is this seven of cups, honey? Damn, got another seven. That's completion, man. So, yeah, you're finally in a space where you're only accepting. You're putting an end to uh, being a part of possibly a three-ring circus, right? But you're putting an end to your old ways of doing things. You're putting an end to the old ways of um, how you give, right? Because you may have been taking on... Everybody else shit and not taking care of your own shit. Like three of these cups may be yours and the other four may be all these other different people that were asking you. Like, no, I want balance. I want reciprocity. Like if this was scales, some, it, there's, it's outweighed, right? You got four on one side, three on the other side. But two on one side, five on the other side. Whatever it is, it's not balanced. So it's time for that to end. It's time for some type of growth and expansion when it comes to how you move forward. Um, looking at your friendships and relationships from a more expansive view in order for you to know who is worth your uh, worth you investing in and who is not um, again the burden on the the, the weight on the weight is on your a lot of weight has been placed on your shoulders what how do you move forward how do you balance this out how much work can you possibly put in what is it going to take what is required some of you may even be deciding to plant a seed to where you um, are delegating or asking for help from a friend to work with you in your business you may be in a space where you are you know following the path uh, following a new path or taking on a new uh, journey or adventure when it comes to your work right um, I also feel that some of you may even decide to start gardening to occupy uh, some of these responsibilities, like let go of some of these responsibilities that are not yours or let go of some of these things that you thought that you wanted and you no longer want. Some of these people that you thought you wanted and you no longer want. And it's time for you to look at things from a different perspective, right? It's time for something to end and something new to begin. But what needs to begin? How does it begin? What kind of work needs to be put into it? What will be the end result, right? What will uh, come out of it, right? Okay. So you're following, I, I really feel like whoever this is, you're following a path um, where you are more enlightened because something happened. There was a huge transition in the way, uh, a huge transition or there was a, pers uh, the, what, your perspective changed when it came to friendships, when it came to um, how much you give and who you give to. So something shifted, something changed, and now you're following your higher guidance, right? The scarab biblical is there to help you along your way. So you're following your higher guidance, following your intuition on this next move, right? Because you've done so much in the past. Now you are assessing um, how much work it's going to take to move forward. Some of you may even be traveling and taking taking just, taking just on the things that you need and or you may be relocating and taking only what you need and leaving the rest behind. And you may ha um, have some friends and family who are going to help you with that as well, or you are figuring that out after asking a number of people, a number of questions to try and get some things, um, get that help that you need, right? Because you may have been confused about some things for a while, and it's like, I'm no more confusion. This shit is over with. This is how it's going to go moving forward, delegating, figuring out how it works, who it works for, and why it works that way. Uh, clarify this seven of cups. Look for kindness in another's face and you will find grace. Look for kindness in another's face and you will find grace. Give me one more card. Little hummingbird in a hurricane. Remember your true north and you will not lose your way. I told you, you are going to be enlightened or follow your true north, right? You're going to get in tune with your star player and do what is necessary, right? You're doing what is required and not what is de being desired, what is desired of you from other people. With that seven of cups, I really feel as though you 
or in a space where you know that you can't go on the same way that you've been going. There's been a lot of confusion. There's been a lot of um, emotional manipulation by certain people. You are releasing yourself from it. There may have been a lot of arguments, a lot of fussing, fighting, acting up. A lot of that going on. Money flows to me freely. The more I have, the more I can give. Money flows to me freely. The more I have, the more I can give. So again, when it comes to what you are working on and what needs to be released and let go, what is no longer worth your effort, no, no longer worth your time, no longer worth your attention, it's going to bring in blessings when you allow yourself to, to end it. It's time, you know, I feel like you may be at a crossroad here. And needing to choose between um, things that you are emotionally attached to and things that just make sense when it comes to investing. Uh, there may be something here that, you know, feelings, feelings are facts. Like, is this something that um, I can, um, that has, uh, is tangible, right? Is this something that I can really feel instead of just being in my emotions about something and it's not going nowhere? So you may be deciding between a water sign and an earth sign here. Maybe decide between some good penis or some good vagina, right? Or do you want someone that's working and doing and, and, and wants to take care of you, wants to provide for you? Or do you want someone who plays with your emotions but they ain't got no money? That's what they say. It's not my business, honey. Now, the next card is your wishes are coming true. And this is the sweet pea. This card, oh, let me show y'all the other card. The African Daisy. Okay, now, your wishes are coming true, sweet pea. <clears throat> what your heart has been longing for is getting closer each day. What your heart has been longing for is getting closer each day. Hmm. Some of you may be getting outside more, uh, getting a little more vitamin D. And don't forget that when you take any type of vitamin D supplements, you activate it with the sun, right? That's what I heard, child. I'm not... A doctor, scientist, none of the, none of the. All right. So you may be getting outside more here, or there's something to do with sun gazing here. What is this uh, wishes coming true? You are the alchemist, right? This is going to be success in this next life cycle if you utilize what you have to get what it is that you want. Uh, keep that at the forefront here. See, what your heart has been longing for is time for it's a game changer. Um, I feel as though there is something that um, has come back around. Maybe it's a project or some uh, job that you applied for and now it's coming back around. You've been waiting and this is, it just happened in perfect timing, right? It happened when it was supposed to or when it's supposed to. Um, I feel that whoever this is may connect with Bassett here or um, has a strong connection with water, right? But overall, that is a Gemini energy and this is the beginning, but it's time for you to uh, really uh, stabilize um, what it is that you wanna focus your attention on so that you can get what it is that you want. Now, this is the Four of Cups. And with this Four of Cups, this he's holding a cup and like a staff or a wand. It's not a staff, it looked like a wand or something like that to me. But I feel like you're clearing out um, the energy of um, past jobs, you're clearing out the energy of past love. You're doing a lot of clearing when it comes to what you've worked with and who you've worked with and what you put your, put your emotion into, put your time into, put your effort into. And now you are ready with this one cup. And I believe there's one cup in the, the magician, right? So now you have the knowledge, you got the clear sight that you need in order for you to uh, focus your intent and your emotion, very powerful energy, into what it is that you want, right? Now that you see that there's a window of opportunity opening here for you. Uh, some of you may even do a lot of this, um, I feel like it's, a, what do you call it, a hammock? right? Uh, swinging on a hammock. Maybe you visualize yourself swinging on a hammock from something when you were younger. But overall, it's time. I told your ass, and it's going to go fast. Things are going to pick up to the point where you may need to make sure that you have all of your ducks in a row because it's going to begin to move really, really rapidly. Possibly um, whatever plans that you are putting together during this time when, um, within uh, three to eight weeks with this eight of wands, with, within three to eight weeks, things are really going to be 
picking up, picking up. So you want to make sure that you take time out for your rest and rejuvenation, recharging, take some time out to uh, do your emotional to-do list, take some time out to just really uh, center yourself and, and focus on um, what's the next plan, right? Because I really feel like things are going to branch off into a whole lot of different other, um, other things. And it's going to be important for you to really have your, your boots tied tight. Okay, check the ties on your car to make sure that um, they may need to be rotated, I guess. Whatever. But I'm just really feeling like this is, um, this eight of staffs, it's like now you know what your limitations are and you are exceeding your limitations, right? Or whatever it is that is being granted to you is going to exceed your limitations. What you thought it was going to be, it's going to be a little more than that because you've been uh, so faithful in um, knowing that this time was coming. And now that the time has come, it's time for you to focus, let the past be the past so that you can move forward and swiftly, Okay. Clarify these three cards. There may be a, a new job, or this could be you being this King of Pentacles. Overall, I feel as though this is uh, for those of you who are in this energy of moving, moving, moving. You're in your masculine. You may even be um, doing, being very productive and bringing in a lot of money, bringing in a lot of money rapidly, bringing in a lot of. Um, attention so you want to be mindful of that but i also feel that this is someone that you may have taken a break from for those of you who took a break from a king of pentacles they may be messaging you or you may be receiving messages from them while you're trying to focus on what it is that you want yep maybe from that lover's card in that first set they are ready to come in and take action they want you oh while you are feeling um, charismatic, you are confident, um, you are getting what you want, you are making your plans, sticking to them, making things happen, being very sensual, sexy, and the truth being illuminated. I also feel that this may even be a court hearing that goes, um, in, uh, that you are successful in, right? Because you use your inner child or your, your imagination to get what it is that you want, or you use your um, ability to manifest to, to make sure that things go in your favor and it happen right here. Yep. May have been something to do with, maybe this is your child's father uh, for some those of you who went to court. But overall, I feel as though maybe you have a Leo child with um, this earth sign or this fire sign. But overall, with this Empress card, I feel as though you're, what it is, some of you are going to be living in a lap of luxury or being able to take care of a lot of people. I feel as though you will be birthing some new, um, whatever this is that you are birthing, like I said earlier, you're going to have all these projects and things are going to go in all these different ways and then boom, you're pregnant with a new idea, right? Or baby. Baby. All right, clarify this sun card before we roll up out of here. This sun card. So you want to be mindful of any type of temptation, any type of lower thoughts, any type of anything that can try and bring you back to where you what you came out of. You don't want it. You don't need it. You're saying no here because with this um, clarifying this sun card, I really feel like it's, it's clarifying the sun card, even though I, didn't, I don't think I asked for it to clarify it. When you have to be mindful of all the, all of the temptation that comes with um, shining the way that you will be shining. There may be some ego that kicks in or some old way that you used to be that just shows up a little bit. Just check yourself. Have compassion with yourself. Send out loving energy uh, from yourself to if it's, if it's against someone or against yourself or whoever it is. Pull it back in because at the end of the day with you being this empress and you being willing to co-create and make things happen. I feel as though uh, you may even have the Midas touch, yeah. So someone wants to apologize to you. So it may be someone coming in wants to apologize to you, but they may not be what you want. They may not be who you want. Yep. But you are their wish fulfillment, though. So someone is coming in to apologize, and they but they have other intent. So you follow your intuition again. Follow your intuition because you can't trust it. Look, okay. They this is how this is them. They are distraught. They are depressed. They are not understanding why this happened, whatever this is that happened between y'all. Now, they may come in with sob stories because of this Mercury uh, retrograde. They may come in and, and feel like there's unfinished business. It's going to be totally up to you because some of you may end up pregnant in, between, in the meantime, in between time. So you want to be careful. You want to be mindful. Mindful, 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 bitch. Somebody playing game. So you want to be careful. Hmm? Now, usually this is just, you know, this can be just a charismatic person. They're just pulling out all the stops. But, it, you know, 
this is all new to them. See, they playing whoever this is. They could be playing games. That's what they do. That's what they used to. And, you know, they don't know how to get up. They just be in the magician energy all the time. So they don't know how to stop. So my advice, know what you want, know what you don't want, and move forward in that order. Because you got things to do, whoever that third card is for. You have things to do. You got places to go and people to meet. Let me see. Let me clarify real quick because I ain't do these. What information do you have for the third card? <laughs> Thank you, Gaia, for choosing me to be a branch on the sacred world tree. Thank you, Gaia, for choosing me for being a branch on the sacred world tree. Wait. Oh, how y'all like the background, bitch? How y'all like the... It's not finished yet. I got a drape that goes across here, but... I had did. I, I be doing too much. But the background ain't finished. This is just where we at for now. So much going on, chair. Clarify that third card, honey. Well, to clarify, when I am responsible for my emotions, they are accountable to me. See? That's it. Number one, you're growing. You're doing what it is you came here to do. Now your projects, your plans, your career, everything is taken off. And then somebody come in and throw a monkey wrench in your plan. You thought you were good to go and all that right there. Do like me, bitch. D and D. Mm-mm. You can't call me before six, or six, seven, or eight. Depending on what I feel like that day. Ain't no talking. Mm -mm. Because that magician energy that came up and that devil energy that came up is someone that probably doesn't um, have a lot to say in the daytime. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. We ain't got time, Chad. We got things going on. Okay? All right. I love y'all. I hope that I can get this over there. I'm trying not to have it too long. 